We're going to do a demonstration of the torque tools. This is the Klein torque screwdriver. You can see the different fittings that go with it, interchangeable. When we come down to this circuit breaker, here's the point we're trying to stress. In the National Electric Code, it talks about in 1103B, at the inch pounds, things are to be torqued according to the manufacturer's instructions. Can you see right on this breaker, it's even etched right into the molding. It says torque, and it's 20 inch pounds for this number 14 wire that you see here. Now, so many of you have probably never used this torque screwdriver, so we're going to do a demo. It goes from 2 to 36 inch pounds. It's sitting now at 2. We need to set it at 20 inch pounds in order to connect this 14 wire to this circuit breaker. Let's start the demonstration. Remove the end cap, and we're going to come in here to make the adjustment. He's taking a screw out. It holds this, looks like a wing that he's going to grab a hold of that he has to turn. Now he's going to turn this, what, clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise. Which is to increase the inch pounds. And there'll be a setting here on the barrel. You may not be able to see it here, but if you look closely, there'll be a line showing the different inch pounds right where his thumbnail is. And he keeps turning this until he gets to 20. Right here, we're at 18. 20 inch pounds will be on the right side. Once I reach that setting, then I have to lock it back in. This will keep it from moving. You should hear a click and a breakaway release. There, hear that click? He reached the 20 inch pounds. That's what required according to the manufacturer and the National Electric Code. And what we're trying to demo here with torque tools is in this solar system, once you put the legs into the rafter, when you start those standoffs with the L feet and you go through the Unirac rail system, and you go through the grounding, the Burnley lugs, the lay-in lugs, the split bolt connectors. When you get crew over to the inverter, the panel board, the breakers, everything the manufacturer has a required torque specification. And as an electrician, this is what you have to follow if you want to stay out of a court of law. If there's an accident or a death, you better hope you had a torque tool. Now we're going to do a demo of how you get from 30 inch pounds to 90. You notice on the end it'll say lock or unlock, so he's going to unlock it. And then there's a dial here on the barrel. He's at 30 and he's going to turn this until he gets to 90 inch pounds. And it has a breakaway action just like the screwdriver. When, it, when he gets to the 90 and he torques, you'll see in a moment on the uh, roof section, when he torques, we're not going to do it now, but when he torques this clamp to 90 inch pounds, you'll see the breakaway that it has. And the beauty of this is, Klein will send you with the tool the operating instructions, which tells you the procedure that we just demonstrated. I think it's better if you see it, and then when you read this, it'll be clear. Now, Klein Tools Incorporated also uses the National Institute of Standards Technology. Now, well, this tool has been tested and tested, and it's been verified that this tool is accurate, denotes the tolerances, etc. The Klein Tools for Torquing. The next demo is again the Klein torque wrench, still 3H drive, 
but it's from 15 to 75 foot, foot pounds. Instead of inch pounds, we're getting into foot pounds. And where you would use this, like when you're standoff with the L foot, it has to be torqued to 20 foot pounds. The wrench now, he says, is set on 15, so it's going to go from 15 to 20 foot pounds. Making the adjustment. And you'll see again on the roof section, as we do the torquing, you'll see the breakaway action of this wrench also. And what we're trying to demo here with torque tools is in this solar system, once you put the legs into the rafter, when you start those standoffs with the L feet and you go through the Unirac rail system and you go through the grounding, the Burnley lugs, the lay-in lugs, the split bolt connectors, when you get curled over to the inverter, the panel board, the breakers, everything the manufacturer has a required torque specification. Now it'll click when we reach 15 inch pounds. Torque, 20 inch pounds. In the National Electric Code in Section 1103B, listed or label equipment shall be installed and used in accordance with any instructions included in the listing or labeling. This has been in the code book since Fido was a pup. Why is it apprenticeship schools fail to teach torquing? Why is it inspectors fail to enforce it? I have learned and observed over my journey that poor connections whether they're too tight or too loose, have resulted in arcing, which has caused fires and death. I've been in the electrical field now for over 53 years, and I've sat in court as an electrical expert on a case involving an electrical fire causing the death of two young girls. When the lawyer asked the electrical worker if he had a torque screwdriver, his reply was, it cost $150 at which time the lawyer put on the overhead screen a photo of the two young girls burnt to ash. And in front of the jury asked the young man, you suppose their lives were worth $150? If we're not going to teach an electrical worker the correct application of wiring and the inspector is not going to enforce it, then let's remove 1103B from the code. It's not fair to put a person in that situation in a court of law. It's like when you know better, you do better, but you have to be taught. And if you think torque tools are expensive, try mentioning that in a court of law involving an accident, and you'll soon realize what a bargain it is to do it correctly.